Good morning and welcome. This is Pastor Lucy Painter with your daily insight. And today we come to the conclusion of the topic, chosen. And I want us to look at the condition. You know, when you are chosen, you are chosen for a purpose and there are conditions that are given. Yesterday we talked about how to deal with opposition because not everybody rejoices that you are chosen and there will be opposition. And today we want to see how do you accomplish the conditions that you are supposed to meet now that you are chosen. You know, one time Jesus spoke in the book of Matthew chapter 22 and verse 14. And he said one of the most uh, powerful statement that has brought so much debate even up to date. He said that for many are called but few are chosen. But I want us to look at the context which he said that statement. It was after he gave a parable about the kingdom of heaven and he illustrated through a story about a king who prepared a great feast for his son. And when the banquet was ready, he sent his servants to notify those who were invited, but they all refused to come. So he sent other servants to tell them, The feast has been prepared. The bulls and the fattened cattle have been killed and everything is ready. Come to the banquet. But the guests he had invited ignored them and went their own way. One went to his farm, another went to his business, other seized his messengers and insulted them and killed them. Can you imagine that? And the king was furious, and he sent out his army to destroy the murderers and to burn their towns. And he said to his servants, The wedding feast is ready, and the guests I invited are not worthy of the honor. Now go out to the street corners and invite everyone you see. So the servants brought in everyone they could find, good and bad alike. And the banquet hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guest, he noticed a man who wasn't wearing the proper clothes for the wedding. Friend, he asked, how is it that you are here without the wedding clothes? But the man had no reply. Then the king said to his aides, Bind his hands and feet and throw him into the utter darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. So this is one of those parables that is very symbolic about the kingdom of God and about this topic that we've been covering. From Monday, I have been assuring you that you are called, you are chosen. Yes, you are one of those that accepted the invitation. You see, when the servants were told, go out there, good and bad, bring them in. Let them come to the feast. But as they were coming into the feast, to the banquet, they had to come in through the door. There were protocols. You come in through the first, the, the, the front door. You are given a garment of the wedding so that you participate in the wedding. But there comes in a man. I don't know which door he passed through. I don't know whether he came through the back door. I don't know whether he just heard there was food and he just sneaked in. But he didn't have the wedding garments. And so when the king was looking, he discovered him. He looked different. He's in there, but he looks different. He didn't follow the protocol. Yes, he's there having fun, eating the food, but he's there looking different. And the king said, no, bind his hand and feet, throw him outside. Outside there is no food, there is no light, there is darkness, there is weeping. Throw him outside, for many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called. The calling is to many. Even today, many are called, but few are chosen. So, how you respond to the calling determines whether you are among the few that are chosen. 
because the calling is to many. Remember the first Lord were the ones who were called and given the invitation. The first Lord were too busy. One had the business, the other one had a farm, the other one was just arrogant and, and utterly evil, even killed the servants, never cared about the calling. And then the king decided, okay, that lot never cares about my calling, let me send out the servants, go out there, good or bad, but you have to be obedient, you have to follow the proper protocol. Come through the front door, be clothed, leave out your filthy garments, leave out what you know out there. You have to dress up with my attire. You have to follow the proper protocol for me. So many, many are called, but few are chosen. So when we come to the Lord, yes, we have been chosen. We cannot come in our own way. We cannot come with our own condition. We have to come and subject ourselves to the protocol of the Father. Yes, He has called us. He has chosen us. He has selected us. We have answered the call. We have to meet the condition of our calling. He wants us to be clothed with new clothes, with new garments, with his own righteousness because our own righteousness is just like filthy lands. We have to accept. We cannot sneak around like this guy who sneaks around and, and just wants to benefit with the food. No, 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 no. If we want to be in there and uh, and just uh, uh, feel the warmth, feel the benefits of being chosen. We have to subject ourselves, be obedient, and really meet the condition of being called. And this is where many, many hear the call, but few passes the test of being chosen. And I pray in the name of Jesus. That we are not going to fall in the category of you are too busy, you had the call, but you're too busy with your business or with your fame or your outright weekend. All we are not going to fall in the category of we want the things of God, but we don't want the fellowship that comes through subjection and obedience to God. But I pray that we are going to be found among the few that are chosen in the name of Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Lucy Painter, and this has been the week we've been covering chosen. And I pray that we are going to be among the few that are chosen, that we are not going to be out there in the darkness where there is sweeping and gnashing of teeth. May we be the few that are chosen, that we are going to be partakers in the wedding feast of the Lamp of God. It is my prayer for you. It is my prayer for you. It is my prayer for me too. In Jesus' name. Shalom. Shalom. This is Chosen Day 5. And as usual, today is Friday. I give you the opportunity to become a subscriber, a partner with me to spread the good news Uh, in all the podcast platforms. You can hit the support button by becoming a subscriber, a supporter with uh, giving a token of $1 a month, $5 a month or $9 a month. And this money goes a long way by helping us pay the subscriptions to all the other platforms that host us as Pastor Lucy Painter Daily Insight subscriptions for the podcast. Shalom, shalom. Until next week, uh, this is Pastor Lucy Painter. Shalom.